Once we have our coordinate plane all set up, the next step in the making of a graph involves plotting our points. Now, our points may come from equations or tables, but for now, let's just make sure we know how to determine where to put each point on a graph. Here's an example point A. The coordinates in brackets show the location of our point A on the graph. The set of coordinates like this can be called an ordered pair. And the first number in the brackets is where the point A resides in the left-right direction of our graph, where along the x-axis. If we were just given x equals 3 and told to place it on a number line, we would place it here. So we can lightly mark this point. Now the second number in the brackets is where the A resides in the up and down direction on our graph, where along the y-axis. If we were just given y equals 2 and told to place it on the y number line, the vertical number line, we would place it here. So, again, we can lightly mark this point. Now, our point A isn't at either one of these points, but is found where they intersect. So let's follow these along until we see the intersection. That's where point A belongs. Note that we could have just followed along 3 in the x direction, and then 2 in the y direction, and we'd arrive at the same point. So either way works for finding the location of a point. Let's try another. Point B with coordinates negative 2, comma 3. Again, the x value comes first, the negative 2. So on the x-axis, the negatives are to the left, and here's negative 2. The y value, the second number, is positive. So we go up 3. And we find our point B right here at negative 2, comma 3. See if you can figure out where point C belongs. It has coordinates 3 and negative 1. Pause the video right now and give it a try. Okay, let's see how you did. The x value is positive 3, so 3 to the right, and the y value is negative 1, and that means we're going downward. And we end up right here. This is our point C. Did you get it right? Let's try one more. Can you figure out where point D should be? The coordinates are negative 3 and negative 3. Pause now and give it a try. Okay, let's check. The x value is negative 3, so 3 to the left. The y value is also a negative, so 3 downwards. And we end up at point D. Did you get it right? Had we drawn the two lines and see where they intersect, it would be the same place. So either way works perfectly fine. In this tutorial, we took a look at how to plot points on a coordinate plane. We note that each point is going to have its position defined by a set of coordinates, two numbers, often in brackets and separated by a comma. These are the coordinates. They're sometimes called an ordered pair. The first number is always the x value, while the second number is always the y value. And to remember that the x always comes first and the y second, just think of the alphabet. x always comes before y. 